Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part on this intarsia where we're going to make vector lines of this dog, and I've already done three of them. If you haven't watched, you really need to start from the start and watch the first one. But I do, I picked three easy ones, and I'm going to pick two or three that are a little bit more difficult. These two parts of the dog are the same color. It just got a line through it. Now, you could you know, and put a piece of wood in there. This is something called intarsia where you cut different species of wood, different colors, you know, maple, walnut, to make up this dog. You know, you pick something light for his nose and dark for his skin. But we're going to pick, now we're going to pick this little bit harder one. You can see it's got this tail. And we're going to go ahead and pick this one. And it's got that, it's got that 2.2, two-piece line or two lines together. We don't need those things. We want to left click, right click, and now you can see those double lines which we do not need. The easiest way to fix this one for me would be to just take your two-point line and draw you a line down there. That's not very straight. But it doesn't really matter. I can show you in a second what we're going to do. We're actually going to move that line. With the shape tool, you can move your line around like that. Now, that line is going to stop it from cutting with the virtual segment delete key. We can get rid of all that. And we'll go ahead and get right to the edge. Now, just take our line away with the delete key. Well, I'll take it back. We didn't get rid of all of them. Virtual segment delete key. Delete this bottom section. Let's zoom in here and see how that looks. That worked. Now we can just delete our line and then just take your shape tool and join those two nodes. Now, I don't know how that got there, but we'll delete it. So now we've got this problem. You could do the same thing, but very easily just take and with your shape tool, select those three nodes and delete and hit that and then delete. Now, an easy way to get rid of this, and we just I just did a video a couple weeks ago on it. Instead of working and trying to turn these two, you know, you could you could turn that to where it would work, but just select both these and go up here and convert it to a line. Wow, it took away the the whoop de doo. Somebody even commented the other day that they didn't have a whoop de doo tool. I guess I shouldn't use that terminology. Now that time we deleted too much, but you can very easily join those two nodes. And keep in mind that we're going to use the Smart Fill tool to fill this in. So it'll, it'll kind of heal itself. But we do want to close this up. Now we've got one more double line here. We're going to do the same thing we did earlier. We're just going to take a two-point line and just draw a line right there. Take our virtual segment delete key and delete that, both sides of it. It's really pretty simple. Now, this dog is going to take some work, but it's very easily done. We're going to delete that line. Grab our mouse or a zoom and zoom in. Grab our shape tool and just connect those. Now, later on, you're going to want to fix a couple of things. Now, we basically got, and you can see there's a lot of nodes right there. Just go ahead and delete them. And you got to remember, after you do this, you're not going to be able to tell what you, you know, like, you know, that you did something wrong, really, because it's going to be your, your dog as long as you have the natural shape of a dog. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did earlier. We're going to bring that line into there. We can delete these two nodes, delete that one, probably even delete these two, and then bring this line down. Using our handles, bring that down, and bring that down to there. Use our virtual segment delete key, and delete the one you move so you still have the natural shape of the dog. Now we're going to smart fill it. Move it over. Smart fill that. Move it over. And now you have, we need to select both of them, it's back up here, select both of them, left click, right click, 
and there you go. Now there's going to be a space between your two new ones and your old one, your first three and your second three. Well, that's very, just do the same thing. Just bring this line in and do it again. But I would keep these, even though these are uh, probably the same color, you could delete this line and it would be the same color as the dog. But these do need to probably be different colors like the dog on here. I don't know what kind of woods they're planning on use. If you're going to use maple for the dark and or a walnut and a maple and you know, you know, there's all kinds of colors of wood, you know, different shades of brown. And you could actually stain, probably stain this before you would um, put them together and it would work. Staining is different than painting because staining you could probably actually say it sand off so what we're going to do we're going to do one more real quick move that out of the way and we're going to move these two out of the way just so we won't mess up so now we have the two pieces we need to join just take your let's zoom in here a little bit get your shape tool and just bring that one in delete these delete all these delete that one and bring this one in Use your virtual segment delete key and erase the one you moved. Smart fill tool, move it over. Smart fill tool, move it over. Now what we can do is left click, no fill, right click, fill. And we'll bring these over double. And there you have three parts of the, or five parts of the dog done that quick. Probably a little bit less than half. Now, there's going to be some tricky parts around his eyes, but they are separate, and his eyes would probably be more important to do, but then you're just going to left-click, right-click, and that one's already pretty much done because there's really no double lines here. You're going to have some space between, and this is where the contour tool would help you. So there is going to be some space, but you could do the exact same thing on everyone. On every piece so this is going to take a lot of work don't get me wrong and then always remember that I can't really put it back together but you know our dog is this dog is pretty complete let's do this and what you're going to want to do at the very end is take this dog I'm going to yellow box trick this thing I didn't mean to do that Draw a rectangle just to make sure there's nothing behind there. I'm going to fill that in with yellow. And I don't have that set up yet on this back of page. So we do have a white square. I could kind of see that. So let's delete that. So now when you have this, after you're all done and you've got it all together, you've got all your pieces together, you need to group it and do you a boundary and then all your pieces should fit inside that boundary. So just to give you an idea of what it would look like. Now remember that we've changed them a little bit. So you need to do your boundary after you're through. And that's why it would be important, important after you made all your corrections is to go through here and clean this up a little bit. You know, take your shape tool, click on your item and then just delete that. That's going to change your boundary. So you need to do it after everything's done. But it's very easy to group them together or ungroup them and then make a boundary. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.